And now, after we got all our OA teams, Vic's going to come in and make sure there's four barns in every day. So this would be fun for a little kindergarten. Just put the dots in there, Danny. Right there, there, Dan. One, two, three, that one needs one. One, two, three, that one needs one. One, two, this one gets two on the end there. So see, later when you're doing this, you'll raise the question and go, well, wait a minute, this one has two H's, all those got one? That's why it gets a different name. So one carbon with an alcohol group on it, that's a methanol group. Look at that, doesn't that look cool? That is glucose. What holds sugars together? Glue coast. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get some posters putting in the glue thing. Oh, yeah, is that pretty cool? All right, let's take it a step further now. We're going to try it with our Greyhound. We got some new paper here. We're gonna still try with an old piece of paper here. Let's do it with the white. See how this comes out. draw sucrose we're really good at this okay so sucrose Fructose and a glucose. So glucose. You just got to get used to these names because sucrose is two sugars and they're still ending in there. So it should be like a di. That's why they get endless there. Well, we'll call it a disaccharide. But then you, there's another one you got to try and remember. Fructose. Now, fructose is a cute one here. We have little drawings of these where they look like trampolines. Make it look like a kindergartner is doing it here, huh? I'm trying to save space up here. So the glucose, we're going to draw again here. We've got the oxygen. Then we go to a diamond. Carbons are always going to be on the side, and we've already messed it up here. There's a diamond. We want the side group to come down there to the side for a diamond. The side diamond. Mm. I'm going to have to get good at this. I already know it's going to be on the other side, so I drew it fucked up there. And then this one is going to go to the side of the diamond. So that goes that way. That's our ring. three-dimensional up here. So we're doing this one real fast anyway. This is the glucose side here. There's one more carbon up there. This one doesn't matter how we draw it. Remember, each of these has an OH on it. So this is now when the fructose is bound to the glucose. So that's why it's really important to have this on the side here. Because it's going to go down to an O. Over here we look and we find this has the O, this has the O, this has the O on the bottom, this has the O on the ring, this has the O anywhere you want it. Look how simple this is now to draw it. So we draw the hydrogen ring site in the middle there. Now we're 
I'm getting color crazy. Put a crayon in my hand, I go color crazy. This is glucose. So what are we going to do now to fill out the dots here? We got to draw dot, 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 dot. That helps the glucose. You can draw this with crayon. Kindergarten. I assure you, you'll be in MIT when you're in sixth grade. Kindergarten, anyway. Okay, now this is the chemistry part here. We'll draw this meter, hopefully. We got this O now becomes double bound. And this comes up now to the mu symbol. What happens with the fructose? Five member group. You get this one diamond right here in the middle. And that one immediately goes up to an oxygen. And the five member rings are cool because they look like a baseball diamond. Come down to here. We're going to bond on the side. Parting diamond right here. Now, this is where it gets tricky. This is the one we got to draw it right. So if we're going to stick to our theme, we have to get it into the middle there. Because we always want, whenever a carbon is bound to a carbon, we want to get it on the side of the triangle. Because it's just going to make it work so much easier. So where does the extra carbon go? It goes up here. Fructose. Both of these have an alcohol up there on top. Remember what I said was these sugars and water dissolve, and there's water just sticking to them like magnets. What makes this different here, too, is this gets a diamond. We'll just draw it on the top. If the carbon's hanging off the end, you can draw it on the tip of the diamond. But whenever it's carbon to carbon, you're going to chain. We want to always be side to side. Now what we need to do is draw the OH in the middle. And look here, OH on the end of that, OH on the end of that. Because we can open the thing to do the red in there. Each carbon gets an OH on it. So now this one is considered to be part of the ring. So down here, this O is up here. Remember this one's down. So this is really important because the enzymes that now break these up Put these in better. See, there's an OH pointing down here. Over here, that OH next to it's pointing up. And then the next one is pointing down. So that's opposite this one also. This carbon gets the O on that. So that O is probably helping counter that one. So this diamond gets to call that its O. That goes up there. Now we go through and we make sure all the carbons have their four bonds to them. So we start here. One, two, three. Where's the fourth bond? Little dot. Down here we know that O, this is the silent bond. We got one, two dots there. Come down here. We got a dot on the bottom, dot on the top. Come down here. This carbon now has all four bonds, so it doesn't get to play. Carbon over here only has three. It gets to get a dot. That one, nope. So you'll be able to notice stuff. You'll have different names. You'll go, what kind of carbon is that? That's a tertiary. It means it's got four major bonds to it. Same thing with carbonation. That's it. Proton very important. Green light is very important back then. So let's color this in with crayons. Isn't that what we do? Huh? Crayons are coloring stuff in. So little kids. First, you can draw the structure, you can color it in.